Hey, it's Brian. I wanted to give you a little video, a short one that will further explain what flexible dieting is and how to work for you. I did a very long hour and 10 plus minutes training on this in my momentum group and through it, what we really discovered was how it's going to work for each individual client, how, how it works, what they need to do, the ins and outs, the intricacies. Uh, we're going to do a brief overview here. Hopefully it'll be a few minutes or less. And, uh, and if you want more information on, uh, I love macros.com. I have a freedom through flexibility booklet that I wrote up that kind of details it, uh, better as well. If you need further help on that, then just reach out, let me know. And we can talk, see if I can help. If I can, I will. If not, I'll let you know and we'll move on from there. So what is flexible dining? Well, it's not a diet. It's a nutritional concept. It's based around macronutrients of carbs, proteins, fats, also measuring fiber and sugar. I'm a big fan of uh, keeping track of those because it's important. And they help give you guidelines on all five of those areas on what you're supposed to do, how you eat, and what that actually looks like. And really the food selection is actually up to you uh, and your personal preference. For me, why flexible dining works? Well, I have four kids and my beautiful wife, Amber. And so um, I'm busy uh, doing work and, uh, we might have pizza. We might have this, that, or the other, whatever's in the fridge. I need to make work in my diet and still reach the goals that I want. And so flexible dieting offers me that simple fix and solution to knowing exactly what I want to do and how to make it happen. Okay. Some of the super, uh, quick, uh, misconceptions is that, uh, first is cleaning. What exactly is it? How do you define it? And ultimately, uh, it's very subjective, and you ask five different people, they're going to give you five different answers. So clean eating, you can still eat too much of something good and still not get the results that you want. So um, that's not a good, necessarily a good way to do it. Second misconception is that flexible dining is just only made up of eating junk food. And um, there is some wiggle room to eat uh, some foods that are a little more of a treat. But ultimately, we're still looking to have a good variety of good, clean foods. Um, a wide variety of foods offers a lot of nutrients and minerals for you as well. Some people don't think that uh, the flexible dining will work, um, or they need to rely on a meal plan. And uh, I don't, I don't believe in meal plans. I don't hand them out to any of my clients. I make my clients understand nutrition in the easiest, fastest way possible so that they can serve themselves not only now, but in the future as well. Okay. Um, uh, flexible dining allows for a lot of variety because if you understand what food is and how it works and balances together, then you're able to quickly uh, dive into getting a lot of different um, uh a lot of different uh, meal combinations and food combinations that really, really, uh, that, that will work for you. Um, one of the last misconceptions of, is that uh, dieters often, flexible dieters often uh, quoted as being uh, obsessive or about calorie counting and dragging their macros. And so uh, that's not definitely not the case. And we want to strive for per perfection, but we know that uh, tracking is a, a means to an end, a way for you to allow you to understand what nutrition is for you. So um, simple simple guideline on it is, is aiming for a balanced meal for throughout your day and then throughout even the course of the whole day. Um, when we look at balance in terms of macronutrients, we're looking for roughly like 30, 40% carbs, more like 40 uh, proteins mean anywhere from 25 to 35% and your fats going to be about 20 to 30% of your daily diet. Okay. Um, and that really, really makes that a lot easier for you to hit better numbers and get a better result that you're looking for. Uh, next up is through flexible dining and highly, highly, highly encourage you to use my fitness pal technology has made this super duper easy. Think of the past where it may, uh, you know, 1970s when bodybuilders were doing clean eating. Well, what happened was is that you uh, essentially ate the same thing day in and day out because you already did the measurements once and you didn't want to have to redo them. And it was a bit, so much harder back in the, the day. You actually had to get like a book. You had to get a calculator out, a spreadsheet, and track that stuff. And that is a lot of work. So if you had your day all planned out and then something switched it up, because you ate something that wasn't already planned out, then your whole routine was ruined, and that doesn't really work. Um, 
I kind of dove into calorie intakes and, and what, re, um, how to re, do caloric reductions, um, went over the 80-20 rule, did a, a wide variety of other things in my group, but I think that's a pretty quick overview. I'm over five minutes now, so I don't want to go too much longer, but I think that flexible dining can work for you. You need to use MyFitnessPal. I gave you some brief guidelines on ratios uh, for your macros that you need, um, and really it is uh, about getting your hands into the food and, and monitoring and measuring and tracking to understand what works best for you. Uh, if you need some help, just let me know. Uh, I I'd definitely uh, love to help you reach your fitness goals, your health, nutrition goals, and, and, and make it fun and easy as well. So uh, this is Brian. I hope that you enjoy this little uh, condensed version of flexible dining, how to make it work for you.